This on scent Ventricosum banana is flowering. Huge flower there. It doesn't have any edible bananas at all. So it's just a banana relative rather than a true banana. You see all leaves just being bent over. The newer leaves at the top. Well, that's the end of this life cycle of this particular on set because it will die once it's finished flowering because it uses so much energy. And if we just take a closer look, we can look inside the flower and you can see the banana like flower there. And you can see how it's flowered over many weeks and months, probably, all the way from there down to this position. And it'll carry on flowering until it uses up all its energy, and then the main plant will die. And it will set seed if it's been if it's been pollinated, and that's how it reproduces. So that's onset ventricosum banana, and this is one that I saw seven years ago. So this is probably, you know, eight, nine, ten years old at least. And this is the real banana flowering and fruiting. This is the Musa. You can see the fruit up there. Two large hands of bananas. And you can see the end of the flowers below, quite long. These are completely full sort of heads of bananas, but they're pretty good. And then you've got the plants above. You can see the beautiful leaves here. And this is a huge musa. This is probably a good at least five meters, maybe six meters tall. Got much slender stems compared to the onset. Very similar sort of flowers, but you've got the proper bananas growing behind. And these are normally picked when they're green and ripened off the plant and they're eaten obviously yellow so that is the real true banana musa